Ladies and gentlemen, King of Kings World Series 2015 live on Fight Box. It's time for fight number seven. Blue corner, fighter from Poland, Tomasz Kowalski. <laughs> Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner, 28 years old, height 185 centimeter, weight 85 kilogram. His personal record: 13 victories, one loss. Polish kickboxing champion, fighter representing Palestra Muay Thai and MMA team, Poland, Tomasz. For the red corner, 30 years old, height 186 centimeter, weight 85 kilogram. His personal record: 10 victories, three losses. Bravo Pro Russian champion, K1 champion of these countries. Fighter representing Thai boxing club, Russia. Alexander. So fight number seven, more fighters ready to rumble. Here we go, Tomasz Kowalski from Poland in the, in the blue corner no with the clinching, green Muay Thai no shorts on. Touch your gloves if you want to. Go to your corner. And facing him Judge. from Russia, Alexander Surkov in the red corner. First round. Wait, step back. And in his corner helping him, Mr. Andre Grosu. Round one. So again, three three-minute rounds. We have the orthodox Russian in the red corner. That means left stance, left guard, and the southpaw, right stance, right guard. Polish fighter Tomasz Kowalowski. Match made 85 kilograms. Solid start from both combatants here in Moldova. At the oh, nice little double kick combo. Impressive. So the Polish fighter switched dancing. Here's the stop, south ball, right hand, right guard. And switch dance there, going back to left guard, trying to confuse his opponent. Always like a fighter that can switch dance. 
some people have trouble dealing with southpaws, but then try dealing with Sweden. That's my money. I like a fighter that can do that. Shows the dexterity because, as I was taught by my master, Grandmaster Skin, quite simple. That you have two hands, you have two legs, and you should be able to use them. For both sides. I call it the balance of life, the yin and yang. Your left should be as good as your right, and why not? You don't believe in this one side of your body should be more dominant <clears throat> because then whoever invents us, if you believe in God, you'll give us one leg and one Right or wrong, that's something for you to think about. So, for me, you should work both sides of your body equally. You must have the dominant side. You know, you won't be able to just do everything with one side. Uh, you know, I know you will, so you do things like, for example, writing. Certain things we have to do, we can drive a car on the left hand side of the road, that we do in the UK. Steering wheel, which is on the right, we'll go with the right, and we we'll change gears with the left hand. So I understand that. Anyway, enough, we've left some Where are we? We're here in Moldova. At the absolutely fabulous Manage Sports Arena in Kishnev, the capital. And this is King of Kings with a great fight in front of us here as it unfolds. Action speaks louder than words. What have I been going on and waffling a little bit? We've just seen everything as I have seen it. Lots of action between these two. Both fighters having an equal share for me in this first three minutes of this first round. Ten seconds. 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 Here we have some of the action from our King of Kings cameraman. Nice little corkscrew, right hand coming from Thomas. And a beautiful left up, low kick combo as well. Catching Alexandra Surkov. Coming in the red corner from Russia with the Moldovian. Fighters! Corner team. Step back, step back. Second round. Fight! Second round. So, fight seven on your card, as mentioned. We've had six fights, six wins to Moldova. This fight being outside of the Moldovan winning streak because we've got Russia. There's that nice little double kick. I love that. Russia and Poland fighting now in this international affair. Here in bout seven. The fighters exchanged nice low kicks there. You can see the nice little Muay Thai tactic there. And the gentleman wearing Muay Thai shorts. A lot of fighters in K1 have come from Muay Thai. And obviously we've got some fighters coming from outside and take on the OK the Shikai, uh, other martial arts as well. The only thing that I've found with all the time fighters going to K1 is they always struggle with the clinching because it is not allowed and they always end up in force of habit grabbing hold for trying to use the which is not permitted in K1 and kickboxing and KOK rules. The basic rule set is you can punch with every punch, including flying punch and spinning the back this punch. You can throw every kick in the book. Low kicks, body kicks, high kicks, front kicks, back kicks, spin kicks, any kick you want to kick. Knees are allowed to the legs, body in the head. And it's high kick. But they're not allowed to be used with a clinch. In other words, you cannot grab and hold in the knee. No elbows allowed. You're not allowed to grab the leg and take the leg sweep. You're not allowed to kick the back leg in Muay Thai. Or knee the back, which is a Muay Thai technique. No throws are allowed. Well, 
This shows how clean this fight is. The referee has not been involved even when he caught the leg then. He actually tapped the glove to say, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Obviously, he can't pass the leg and score. So, very friendly and sportsman and respectful handshake. Oh, and he eats a front kick. Do you know what? This is a really good contest and another great matchup for your promoters. Mr. Dorin Demir and Mr. Donatos Simonatis, who must be sat ringside, which they are sat ringside. They feel quite chuffed with themselves and quite happy with what they put on tonight because, because with all these King of King shows, you always get good matchmaking. And it's all about that. There's nothing worse than this match. gentlemen 27th of February will open up season 2016 with a 71 kilo eight-man tournament in Riga 22nd of February King of Kings World Grand Prix starts again and as I mentioned we have 10 shows in 2016 I'm gonna mention them soon when I get a chance <laughs> Well, this has been a really exciting and good fight to watch. It's been good to the eyes. Very, very crowd pleasing. Enjoyed this fight. I've had a chance to just see what you're seeing and comment on other things because you know action speaks louder than words you've watched the action you're hearing my terrible comment here i do apologize i do try my best so and again that kick combo those two punches together other fights you'll see do this as a famous muay thai fighter sencha draws that and it's worked for him as well, low kick, body kick. That was a nice left body kick, and you heard that. You probably heard that in Bolton. <laughs> That's an England. Sonny Bolton by the sea, the place that I live, if you know me. This is where we're at now, Moldova, Kishnau, Manesh Arena, King of King style. And we've had some wicked fights, and this one is absolutely entertaining too. Great match between these two. Styles make fights, and this is their stylish fight. Both guys up for it, absolutely up for it. And it'll be a tricky one to call this, and it's one of these fights that I'd like to see an absolute draw. The both fighters come away with a share of the gold. Because I can't separate them, I really can't. See what I mean? It's this way, that way, and every way but loose, because these two both want to win. Coming down to the last minute. Oh. <laughs> Apologise. He's apologised for that. He did what's called Muay Thai technique. That follow through. He scores that, and he's looking at. He's apologised to his opponent. Apologised to the referee. Apologised to the referee. That is real sportsmanship. Real martial arts, ladies and gentlemen. The true word of martial arts. Be a good person. Fight when you have to. Stand your ground. Respect all. Fear none. Oh, nice. You know what, this has been a real crowd 
easy play. And whatever the outcome, these two guys will come back. Yeah, you know what? They entertained. FBA, Fighting Entertainment Association at its best. Look at this. What an absolute one. Well, do, you know, do you know what? This has been for me one of the best fights of the night. You know what? That's me backing. And I know what? I'm going to stand up and applaud them. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant, brilliant, what a great fight, ladies and gentlemen, come on, how can you not like that fight, that was brilliant, I can't call it, I'm going to give it 10-10, 10-10, 10-10, till they do it again, what think you, what say you, what would be, let's see, what a great fight, You know, I think we should just give it a draw, no extra round, give them both a medal. Yeah. Well, why they deliberate, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. 10 fights in 2016. If you've got your pen, you've got your paper, listen to this. 27th of February, Riga. 19th of March, Vilnius, Lithuania. 9th of April, Kishnau, here in Moldova. 28th of May. Berlin, Germany. 30th of July, Cyprus, Greece. 17th of September, Tallinn, Estonia. First of October, Kishnau, Moldova. 5th of November, Riga. 19th of November, Vilnius, Lithuania. And then back to the 10th of when I say back, I mean December, 10th of December, Warsaw, Poland. Here we go. 2 1, it's close. It's close. Red Corner, Alexander Zurko, Russia. Well, they just edged it to the Russian, 2 to 1. What a great fight. To me, it should have been a draw, but one judge gave it red, two, sorry, one judge gave it blue, two to red. Do you know what? What a good fight. What an amazing fight. Absolutely fantastic. So, it's another win though for Red Corner. Red victory all night, seven wins coming out of Red. But you know what? The man from Poland, Thomas Kowalski, gave an absolutely outstanding account of himself. I think personally, still say it, that should have been a draw. What a great fight. There you go, let's go, 27th of February, Riga.